I did a video on this topic a year ago. So this is just an update video on how to increase your uTorrent speed on your PC. By using these settings and tips, your download speed will increase by six times. Well, at least in my case, it increased by six times. It can depend upon your internet connection and a lot of other factors come into play. After applying these settings, I can assure you, you will get a higher download speed. And even if you don't, I have a solution for that. So make sure to watch this video till the end. If something goes wrong, you can still reset your setting. But if still it doesn't work for you, you can watch other videos, link in the i button right now. All of these videos show how you can increase your internet speed. And I'll also leave these videos in the description so you can just go check those videos out after watching this video. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into how to increase your torrent download speed. The first thing to keep in mind while making sure that you have the maximum speed on your torrents is that download a torrent which has high number of seeders and leechers. In order to do so, what you have to do is go onto your favorite torrent browsing website. I'll just go ahead and open Pirate Bay up, search whatever you want to download. Once you see the file that you want to download, make sure that the SE which is seeder is the maximum on the screen and also the leecher is also the maximum on the screen. So just go ahead and download the file with highest seeders or leechers. If you don't find your file which has the highest number of seeders and leechers, what you can do is go on to another torrenting website. I'll leave the link to the best ones in the description. So you can just go ahead and download from there and open the torrent up. So now let's move on to what are the edits that you can do in the torrent itself to increase the speed. So first of all, we're going to disable firewall exception from the settings. So in order to do that, go on to options and click on preferences or you can just press Ctrl P to open preferences. Once you're on the preferences, go to the connections tab and make sure that enable UPnP port mapping is checked. Randomize port each start is unchecked and add firewall exception is checked. Change this port to 45683. I will leave the list of some ports in the description so you can check what works best for you and how you guys can help each other out as you can go onto the comment section, type in the port that you're using and write which country you're using it from and the people from your country or state can use the same port and they will get a good download speed. After that, we're going to go on to general and we're going to enable append period exclamation mark bt to incomplete files. Also check pre-allocate all files. After that, go on to the bandwidth tab and change the maximum upload rate to 100. This will ensure that the maximum upload rate is set to 100 kbps and not more than that. And make sure that the download uh, maximum download rate is set to zero. Zero here means unlimited. Your download speed won't be limited to a certain rate. Next, what you have to do is go onto this section called number of connections and change the global maximum number of connection to 2000, uh, maximum number of corrected pairs per torrent to 1500 and change the number of upload slots per torrent to 25. And uh, make sure that use additional upload slots if upload speed is less than 90%. After that, you have to go on to the queuing tab, click on it and uh, make sure that maximum number of active torrents upload or download is set to 1 and maximum number of active downloads is set to 1. What this will do is that it will only enable and download one torrent file at a time and it will queue the rest of the torrent so they will be downloaded one after another. So after that, we're going to go on to the advanced tab. Under BT allow same IP, make sure that it is set to false. So after that, what you have to do is find this line which says DHT rate. So here it is. What you have to do is change this minus one, minus one value to two. So whatever this value is in your case, just change it to two and click on set. Scroll once again and find this line which is RSS update interval. It must be set to 15 or something else. What you have to do is just click on it and change it to 20 and click set. Go on to the BitTorrent and make sure that everything is enabled except 
limit local pair bandwidth and enable ultra stick mode and uh, under the outgoing tab make sure that it is set to disabled and allow incoming legacy connection is checked after that click apply and click ok so after you're done with that what you have to do is go on to your download uh, go on to your torrent which we just downloaded click on it right click on it and click force start right click on it again click on bandwidth allocation and set it to high right click once again go on to the properties and here you will see a list of trackers what you have to do is copy the trackers that i'll leave in the description select the trackers that are already in the trackers list press ctrl a to select them all and press ctrl v to paste the new trackers that we just copied after that click ok right click one last time and click on update trackers so as you can see my download speed instantly increased earlier it was showing 500 kbps but now it's reaching somewhere around 3 mbps your windows pc and make sure to check out this video if you want to increase this fps in your games so that's about it for this video i'm vizio and i'm signing out